Hello everybody, before we start the video, I just want to give a quick thanks to my gracious and generous supporters over on Patreon, to AnimeGuy01, Bookworm, Danish Fay, and Tommy Koistinen. Thank you for so much for your continued support, and if any of you want to support me as well on my Patreon account, there's a link to it in the description below. Now, enjoy the video! Hello everybody, it's Jenny Fireflame talking, welcome back to the second Wallbringers video that I I'm going to react to. Um, Wallbringers Jaina. Now, Jaina Proudmore is, I would say, a tragic character within the lore because so many bad things has happened to her. Um, she lost her father um, and her the love of her life, pretty much her home, like her capital that she was taking care of, Theramore, was destroyed. Just, um, like, so many bad things has happened to her that... She was formerly one who tried to advocate for peace. She was the, one of the like one of the most forefront people who tried to like make a bridge between the Horde and the Alliance. But nowadays, like she was extremely aggressive before, like at the end and start of Cataclysm and um, Miss of Pandaria. But it seemed like she has calmed down. But she still has a vendetta against the Horde. Um. So I wonder what it is they're going to show here. I know, I, I think it's probably going to explain why Jaina suddenly came, uh, suddenly in the middle of the attack on Lordaeron with a ship. A magical powered ship. <laughs> I get, I guess it's going to explain that. Um, but anyway, let's get into it. I'm excited because I've been missing to watch this for a long time. So if you're ready, my dear friends, let us watch World of Warcraft, Warbringers, Jaina. In three, two, one. What's this place? Oh, I guess it's Theramore. Hey, Jaina. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. An anchor. Beware, beware, the daughter of the sea. Ooh. Beware, I heard him cry. She's voiced by Laura, Laura Bailey, by the way, who is a wonderful singer. Upon the ocean breeze, as he sank beneath the tide. What is this? What is this? What is this? A song? Are we gonna get a song? Please, it. We're gonna get a song. Those blood-soaked shores of Kalimdor, where sailors fought and died. Is this Theramore? And who's explained all the corpses? Because she left his side. Why this? Why this? So daughter of the sea. Oh, I'm in love already. I'm speechless, but her father, the Admiral Proudmore, who died in the event of Warcraft three for stroke. Just another nail in her like mental coffin.
did she just raise a ship? Jesus. She just raised a ship. The freaking Davy Jones. That would be awesome. That was actually the reference. Who's the hooded person? I'm listening now. Father. What? What? I heard, I heard Across a moonlit sea The old voice warning me Beware, beware The daughter of the sea Beware Beware Of me <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ooh! Mmm, mm, that was good. Oh goodness, that was good. Ah, oh, I'm so happy when certain characters get the focus that they need because of like their storylines. And we have a, we've had a couple of characters now who has gotten some very decent focus in the last few expansions, and I'm happy to see that this time. It's Jaina's turn for that focus. Um, mm, 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 that was good. Ooh, beware of me. Yeah, I, I'm certain the Horde will is going to beware of you, especially after what you did at Lord Run. Uh, oh, that was good. I have to. I have to. Uh, I, I know I talked over some of it, but I can't help but talk, say my opinions and stuff, say what's on my mind. So I'm probably gonna have to like listen to this a few more times to get the lyrics. But they especially I I heard they talked about Thera more. They talked about her father fighting the the horde and she stepped aside and a lot of grief, a lot of guilt, a lot of emotions like that are being portrayed through this song and through uh, Jaina's character. And Laura Bailey is just still amazing. Um, I am so in love and I'm so happy. <laughs> I love it when Blizzard do this kind of stuff, when they make these kind of videos is as their own way to tease the next expansion. They did that for Warlords of Draenor, and while that expansion wasn't exactly perfect, I love the Lords of War series they made leading up to it. Um, like, I I see they have uh, ever since... No, I think Warlords of Draenor was the first one, where they began to make these kind of, pro these kind of videos for each expansion, which I really appreciate and really adore. I'm so happy. Alright. Um, I think that's all I have for now. So, I hope you all uh, thank you all for watching, my dear friends. Please tell me in the comments below what you thought, what I thought about this video, my reaction, and my entire channel in general. Please tell me both positive and negative, so I can use it all to grow and evolve into a better entertainer for you guys. But as always, my dear friends, thank you all so very much for watching. My name is Johnny Fireflame, and I'll see you guys next time.